Hey, good morning. Hope you're doing okay. Um, it, the lighting is a little weird here today, so you just have to bear with me. I'm very pale anyway this time of year, but it looks even worse right now. But who cares? So um, I wanted to just um, ask you how you're doing with your New Year's resolutions and see how things are going, if you even make any. I... Um, I'm not sure I make any. I just try to do better each day. That sounds like a cop-out, but anyway, uh, I don't do very well at goal-making and meeting goals, <laughs> so there you go. But I wanted to tell you about a time um, that I was pregnant with my fourth child, and the others were only um, four and under. The other three were four and under. And um, I was just completely exhausted. I was uh, wanted to tap out. Um, it was just a really tough time. Um, just I wasn't the pregnancy wasn't bad or anything, but just dealing with that many kids so young and being pregnant. And um, I was in ministry, but I uh, wasn't having a consistent quiet time at all. And um, I remember sitting down with the Lord and just pleading with Him for His grace and mercy, which are which is always there, um, but I wasn't really asking for discipline. And so I just was confessing to Him, I realize I need to spend my time with you. I realize that you are the one that makes my day complete. You are the one that makes my day bearable. You are the one that is my everything, but I'm not treating you like that right now just because I'm so exhausted. I can't even I can't even get up before the kids because they're getting up in the middle of the night at times. Even though I had really good sleepers, but you know, a a time here and there would absolutely about kill me. So, um, I sat down with the Lord, and I was expecting to crawl up in his lap and for him to just say, Sweet child, I understand what you're going through. I understand because I have ordained this, and I have allowed this, and and it is, it is fine. You will be back and consistent with me when you get through this. And I, I really thought that's what the Lord was going to say. And so I sat down with him and, um, <coughs> excuse me, and I um, felt like he was saying, go to Proverbs. And so I ended up in Proverbs 6, verse 9 through 11. And let me remind you, I was looking for, oh, sweet child, you'll be fine. Just hang in there. And this is what I came to. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit, and scarcity like an armed man. Okay, here's the thing. I'm looking for, our, oh, sweet love, you'll be fine, get through it. And this is what the Lord said. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? The Lord loves me. He loves you. But he has plans for us. And I know that we go through times that are very difficult and, and we want to put God on pause and come back to him. But the Lord told me right there, even at the tail end of my fourth pregnancy, kids everywhere, and I was in ministry, he was like, Lee, how long are you going to lie there, you sluggard? Do you not know that I am the one that will supply you the miraculous energy to make it through the day? Do you not know that I am the one that will give you the patience to make it through another dirty diaper? Do you not realize that I am the one that will help you have peace in all of this? He's like, do what you're supposed to do. Get up and spend time with me. Allow me to be the one to multiply the hours in your day when it seems like you haven't slept at all. Allow me to do those things. And so when I read those verses, I literally did not even want to open my eyes because I thought Jesus was standing right there. And he was. I just couldn't see him. But it's like 
I have never had such a direct discipline from the Lord that was so merciful and so gracious because God was saying, I've got plans for you, girl. Get up and do what you are supposed to do. You're in this season of little kids and busyness and all of that, but I still want to speak to you. I still want to infuse you with my glory and my grace and my power. Get up and do the thing. And so I did. And so I'm telling you, this, this particular passage was, at this time in my life, it was for my quiet time. Get up and spend time with me, you sluggard. This passage for you might mean God saying, get up and exercise. Get up and write that book. Get up and do whatever it is. Make that dinner for that neighbor. Do what I'm asking you to do. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. All right, whoa, I'm fired up because if I don't learn through discipline, then what good was it? So I wanted to pass that on to you. I pray, pray, pray that you will get up and do something and not just lie there like a sluggard like I was. Y'all have a good day. Love to hear from you. See you. Bye.